Let's have another problem, wrecking ball. Um, a large wrecking ball is held in place by two light steel cables. If the mass M of the wrecking ball is 4,090 kilograms, what are letter A, the tension TB in the cable that makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical, and letter B, the tension TA in the horizontal cable. So um, I'll be giving you maybe a minute to solve this. Uh, and uh, later I will be solving this. So I'll show you the solution. Okay, two minutes have elapsed. Let's solve this problem. You have a large wrecking ball in place by a two light string cables. If the mass M of the wrecking ball is 4,090 kilograms, letter A, what's the tension TB and what's the tension TA? So, ayan, meron na tayong diagram, buti na lang. Um, so, um, may mistakes sa ata. Check mo yung angles mo. Okay, so yon. So, may nag-PM. So, ganito. Ang una kong i-drawing, again, yung, again, may weird kasi, weird kasi nangangayari dito sa, uh, ano, I'll use my, again, red ink. Red ink. So, tapos, i-drawing ko ngayon. So, what are the forces acting on the wrecking ball? No? What are the forces acting on the wrecking ball? Sir, tension A, tension B, this weight. Yes, tension A, tension B, tsaka syempre may weight yan. So, the first one, I'll draw the tension A, ganyan, something like that. Tapos, I'll draw tension B, so something horizontal, something like this. Tapos, I'll draw a tension in pababa. So, ganyan. Nakuha. So, sinusunod ko lang yung ginagawa nila na inuuna yung um, so wait lang. Di, di pantay. Ah, sorry. Di pantay eh. So, yeah. Medyo OC. Ayan. Tapos, ayan. So, this one. Ayan. Okay? So, ayan. Tapos, after that, I'll draw a coordinate system. I'll draw a coordinate system uh, using this. So, a coordinate system na gagamitin ko, obviously, yung, um, yung magbibigay sa akin ng dalawang forces na nandun agad sa axis yung forces na yun. So, both TA is in the horizontal, tapos yung weight obviously downward, so vertical yan. So I will use a coordinate system such that uh, one that's upward and one that's to the right. So this is my coordinate system X and Y. Nakuha? And um, this is there for TA, and this is TB, and this is my weight, MG. Okay? Ngayon, nasan yung angle? Remember, the angle here, this is my dash line. This is 30 degrees. Tama? Tama? And hence, where is the 30 degrees? Is it with respect to the positive x direction? With respect to the positive x direction ba? Hindi. Dapat ito yun. Tama? So this is, I'll let this as my theta. For the meantime. Let this, I'll let this to be my theta. Nakuha tong diagram na to? Did you get this one? Yes, po, sir. Yes, yes. okay. Nakuha naman. So, um, so yan. So here's your free body diagram. Now, the question now is, what should be our equation of motion? How do we set up the equation of motion? The equation of motion is just equal to what? So I have summation of forces. Uh, we know that the wrecking ball is at rest. Therefore, ano lang yan? The summation of forces acting on x is, is equal to what? Equal to? There's zero. Obviously, it's zero. Now, also, TA and TB are unknown. Hindi yan given. And hinahanap po sila parehas. Therefore, since you have two unknowns, you need two equations. So, dito natin gagamitin both FX and Y components. So, summation of forces acting on X is zero. This is just equal to what? TA. Ano yan? So, TA minus TB cosine. Wait, TB ba? <laughs> Baliktad? Oh, wait lang. Baliktad ba ako? Ay, sorry. Sorry for... Mali pala ako. Sorry for that. Mali yung designation ko. Baliktad. Sorry for that. This should be TB and this should be TA. Sorry for that. So, yun. Ako yung may mali. Okay, ulit. So, um, uh, this should be TB times cosine or sine? Sure, sine. Kasi yung theta mo ay with respect to the y-axis, not with respect to the x. There's for this should be sine theta minus TA. Okay? Nakuha? And then summation 
of forces acting on y, also this is obviously zero, but this is now equal to what? Note here na yung um, x components nagkokontrahan yung dalawa, yung y, well, well, wala namang y dito sa TA. So therefore, I get TB cosine theta minus mg. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha yan? Nakuha itong dalawang yes, equations? Yes, And therefore, we need to solve for these two equations. Ang mas madaling hanapin, since TA is unknown, Um, TB is also unknown, but MG is unknown. That's the weight of the wrecking ball. Makakalculate Maka natin yan um, from the given mass. The mass of the wrecking ball is, by the way, ano yung mass niya? Um, uh, the mass of the wrecking ball is 4,090 kilograms. So, okay. Hence, I can use, so this is equation 1, equation 2, solving for, oops, solving for um, TB, In equation 2, we have TB is just equal to mg over cosine of theta. And this is just equal to 4,090 kilograms multiplied by 9.81 meters per second squared over cosine ni 30 degrees. And hence, when we do that, ang lalabas sa atin ay TB equals 4.63 times 10 to the fourth kilograms or 46 kilo ni ay what kilograms newtons sorry for that tb is 4.63 times 10 to the 4 newtons nakuha yon gets yes sir okay now um now substituting equation 2 to equation 1 we have therefore ta equals tb sine um theta which is equal to 4.63 Uh, 46.3 na lang, 46.3 kilonewtons <laughs> sine of 30 degrees. And therefore, we will get, um, ibaba ko to ah. If, therefore, TA is just equal to 2.31 times 10 to the 4 newtons. That's it. That's your second answer. Nakuha? Nakuha? Yes, sir. Okay. I hope you get this item correctly. So, yan. Questions? So, may tanong ba? May tanong? Answer. 